Guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Yeah, of course. Today is another Davidoff, and in the quest of finally completely one day tasting all the exclusive out there. Today we have the one from Cuban Crafters, which this is kind of yeah, you know. All right, so this is retail at twenty nine dollars. That's what we bought it for twenty nine dollars plus whatever that tax and fee was. And um, we bought this in Miami during the trip to Miami. And we found, like, this was by accident because we drove, we went to Neptune Cigars. And right next to Neptune Cigars, we found a big sign for Cuban crafters. And little did you know, we actually thought it was like sketchy as hell store. Because, you know, it has the name Cuban and Crafter, and it just sounds very sketchy, you know? And But then when we drove by, we saw a door has the Davidoff sign. Was like, oh, you know what? Let's go in. Like, you know, worst case scenario, we buy some fake cigars for everybody to laugh at, you know? And um, guess what? They were legit. So in there, we found the Davidoff exclusive Cuban Crafter. So obviously it's torpedo, and obviously like any of the additions, exclusive edition, there's not not a lot of information. They make 300 boxes. Uh, it's retailed in uh, point, uh, pointed ver merchants in Miami, Florida. That's all the information I have. So torpedo. All right, so let's get a taste. Let's see. And then while I'm at it, I'll, I'll see if I can find any other information. Their own website doesn't even work right. And which make them again sketchy because they're not giving a lot of information on this thing. Or, you know, you would think that of all the places that have information, your own website will have plenty of information. Well, they don't. They really don't. All right? So I'm clicking into their website. I see all the cigars. Like, they, they're legit. Once you go there, their the humor is quite big. Um, mine is that little corner is full of mold <laughs> a lot of cigar has more on it but you know the rest of them that's far away actually looks fine that was very very far from that so um on their own website there is nada there's no information on this thing mm, if i just click on cuban crafter there's nothing i went to davidoff page two cuban dev crafter edition and it shows me the cigar itself and nothing else. There is there is literally no information that's under the description. Good job, um, Cuban crafters. Your website sucks. Sucks a lot. Why bother even have a website? It sucks. Anyways. So since we can't find anything about it, cut and light. I don't know why they made this torpedo like so freaking long. I really cannot tell where the cap ends. So I'm just gonna give it a guess and just randomly cut one. And obviously that was too small. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. And light. Leather, chocolate, cedar. That's how I taste. Very defined. You can tell like right away that's what it is.
white pepper, cedar. Sand. Leather. And maybe a little bit of mineral. The draw is wicked loose for some reason. It looks like this cigar looks like honeycomb. Very loose. But the back end is more like more solid. So we'll see if that gets better. But right now. It's a leathery, mineral-like cigar at this moment. This tastes like a Dominican cigar, really. Like that's that's what it kind of tastes like. Yeah, that's how it, that's kind of what it tastes like. like. If you go out and get a, like a Dominican Puro kind of thing, that's pretty much what it tastes like right now. So yeah, let me smoke one third. We'll come back and see where this goes. This could possibly be one of the worst Davidoff edition cigars that I smoked. It's kind of boring. It's only that bucks. Be right back. So, draw problems. Like there's like it's missing tobacco. For sure, but I, I feel like it's getting a little bit better. But this cigar is boring. Why is it just twenty nine dollars? Tastes like a Dominican Puro or something. It's just nothing going on. Like I, you know, I have to. There's like no draw. When, when I say no draw, it means air just went through, but then it's not heating anything up. Um, you know, no strength, no draw. Just tastes like a basic Dominican cigar. To be really honest with you. Yeah. Well, like I keep giving it a chance. I already went almost halfway through. We spent to uh, we, we smoked just a little bit more. Uh, and let's see if the halfway, like the second, third does anything. Because this might be the worst David I've ever had. Not only your website sucks. Your cigar kind of sucked too. But we'll see. We'll give it a chance. See where it goes. Back. Like I got to this point at no time right now. I started probably 9, 10, 9, 15. Right now it's 9, 44. There's like nothing to this cigar. I don't know what the hell happened. Like, um, Cuban crafters. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this worst edition ever? This is the worst special edition ever. It tastes like a regular, um, $6 Dominican cigar. Really does. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. This is going to be a very short <laughs> review. <laughs> I'm going to finish it up and then we're going to... Yeah, $6. $6. Finally, it's done. I don't even know why I'm smoking this. It's probably the... I can say this is the worst Davidoff I've ever smoked. Uh, being boring. Being not much flavor. Being nothing to it. I don't even know what this is about. I don't even know why I paid $29 for this. This should be $6. Really. Like, yeah, not recommended. Don't waste your money on it. Six dollar, if that. In fact, even six dollar, I probably don't want to buy it now that I know how it tastes like. So I was like puffing air. So nothing to it. Yeah. Okay, that's it for this review. I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, click, share, comment. Until the next one. Bye, guys.